Hello and welcome to the 29th video in this series, Developing a Chess Engine in JavaScript. I made, yet again for the umpteenth time in this series, the, fa the mistake at the end of the last video of not actually checking, loading up the, the browser web page in the JavaScript console, and I've made an error which you probably saw in the definition of the loop slide piece and loop slide piece index arrays. I think I'd put the word piece in them because I've deleted them now and changed them to what they should be. Um, I've changed their definitions back to this so they're more coherent with the two definitions here and I'd already written the code out with these new definitions inside the bottom of the generate moves function here. So in this video we're going to finish off adding in our quiet and capture moves everywhere but for the pawns and then start looking at the pawn move functions. So first thing I'm going to do is to take this add quiet move here and copy it and then I'm going to drop it in here in this placeholder for the castling for black. And the kingside casting for black moves from and it's squares e8. And it moves to g8. So squares dot g8. And in a similar way, we also get the move going from e8 to c8 for the queen side castling for black. And the other thing we need to add as well here now is the flag. So we're going to add m flag ca because it's the castling flag for the castle move. If you remember, if I go back into defs.js, somewhere down here we had our definitions here of our flags for special types of moves. So we add in the castling flag there like that to generate our castle moves. I'm just going to take this being lazy and drop that in for the queen side castling for white, except white obviously moves from e1 to c1, and also the king side castling which is from e1 to g1. The rook will be moved inside the make move function. So now we've added those in for castling, we can actually have a look at the pawns. And looking at the black pawns here, the reason I've got things separated out is because pawn moves need to handle promotions if the pawn is moving is, is moving to moves to the eighth rank. And this can happen in the circumstances where here, where I've got add pawn move here because it's more moving through to one forward one square. Here where we've got the pawn moving forward two squares, so a start move, it can't possibly be a promotion, so we can add a quiet move in here. The capture moves will have to handle promotions because they can capture obviously onto the 8th rank. And the en passant moves will be added in using the en passant function that we wrote in the previous video. So I'm just going to scroll up quickly and look for the definition of that en passant move. And here it is and it just takes the move as so. So I'll scroll down to inside the black pawns and just add in the definition for the en passant move here. And now we want to declare our move, and our move obviously will be from square to square minus 11. And then we'll have, as we did for the other quiet moves then, we don't capture, we don't promote, and we have a naught for the flag. Except we don't, we have a M flag EP because it's an ampersand move. I think we have a flag for that. Yes, we do here. The reason we're not adding anything in the capture here, even though we do capture a pawn, is because the move, um, the move, make move function that we'll do will handle the removal of the pawn because it'll recognize that there's this flag inside the move integer. So I'll just copy this now and paste this into here. So we've got minus nine. And then I'm just going to whiz up and add this in also for white at the plus nine and the plus 11. So plus nine there and a plus 11 here. So that's the on moves added in now as well for the pawns. So we've got the cast link and the on moves. And now the last thing we can add in this video is the last quiet move that we'll add. And I'll take again some code from below to save a bit of typing time. And this is just the pawn start move. So here we're going from, in the case of white, our square. You can see here the square plus 20. So we're going to 2 square plus 20. And then the flag will change here. And now we'll get the pawn start flag. So that will be m flag ps in this way. 
and I'll scroll down and add this in now for black and we go square minus 20 in this case and just save that. Now off screen I'm just double checking on the browser that everything is okay code wise, it is good. So that's it then for this video, it's just a fairly simple one and a little bit boring probably just setting up some of the adding the various quiet move functions in and the next video will actually finish off this generation move section of filling the move list with moves and add in the pawn generation and promotion move generation. So thanks very much for watching, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.